A school has unveiled a plaque in honor of a former pupil who won a medal for outstanding bravery in Afghanistan. The George Cross is the highest honor the army can award for gallantry not in direct contact with the enemy. It's equal to the Victoria Cross. Warrant Officer Kim Hughes got his for defusing seven linked explosive devices, allowing four injured colleagues to be rescued. Well, the Army have described it as the single most outstanding act of explosive ordnance disposal ever recorded in Afghanistan. Callum Watkinson reports. Only 161 George Crosses have ever been awarded, just three of them during the current Afghan war. Little wonder then that Warrant Officer Kim Hughes's old school is so proud of him. All current and future generations of students and teachers at this school will be aware of your tremendous actions. I give you Kim Hughes. As a bomb disposal expert, he's in one of the Army's riskiest jobs and August 16, 2009 was a day like any other for this reluctant hero. Everywhere in Afghanistan, certainly for, for us, is um. Uh, you, you have issues day in, day out, and the IED threat over there is, is quite great. Um, and we didn't know what we were walking into that day. What he was walking into was a minefield. Men from the 2nd Battalion, the Rifles, were on patrol in Sangin when one of them set off an IED. As colleagues tried to rescue him, they set off another device, leaving two of them dead and four badly hurt. Without waiting for protective clothing, Kim Hughes began to clear a path to the casualties. As he reached the first soldier, he found and defused another IED. He then discovered two more devices, which he also disarmed. Thanks to his actions, all the soldiers could be rescued, but Kim Hughes wasn't done yet. An inspection of the area uncovered four more devices, which he also neutralised. In any situation where guys are at risk and guys' lives are at risk, you, you just want to get down there and, and help them out. But, I mean, as a, I, it, it was a team effort. Of the 390 combat deaths in Afghanistan, 223 of them were caused by IEDs and landmines. That's over 60%, a statistic that puts explosive specialists like Kim Hughes at the heart of the battle against the Taliban. We'd like uh, Kim's name to be associated with this school uh, because of his, uh, his gallant act of great bravery. And for that to last in this school, for as long as this school is here, I think he's extremely important. Important is not a word this modest man attaches to himself, stressing time and again the team nature of his deadly day job. He'll be back in Afghanistan doing it next year. Callum Watkinson in Telford for Central Tonight.